It's our story. Pat Puckett, Atlanta, Georgia. When uh, I was in the fourth grade, um, I decided to go out for cheerleader. You know, you had to try out for cheerleader, and I was in this little bitty town, and so I decided that I wanted to, to be a cheerleader. And one of the teachers told the kids not to vote for me for cheerleader because we would not want a crippled kid representing us on the, on the cheerleading team or something along those lines. So that was the first experience I guess I had with an adult especially saying something along those lines. And then uh, later when I was in college, you know, I tried to get the um, to get out of uh, physical ed, you know, the, the first couple of years in college you're required to do PE, physical education. And always before I had gotten uh, doctor's excuses to get out of physical uh, education. And this one particular college I was going to in Des Moines, Iowa would not let me out of, of physical ed and it was a softball class. And so I would go to the softball class and sit there and you know do other studies and stuff like that when um, when the other girls were playing softball. And um, the teacher came up to me at one point along the way and said, "Would you uh, pick up these these cans and the trash out here to make your grade?" So uh, he uh, decided that since I couldn't play softball, that being a uh, a janitor would be a good way for me to get the get my required activity for the class, I guess. And of course I did it. You did it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Didn't occur to me not to. I felt guilty, I guess, because I couldn't uh, you know, do the couldn't couldn't do the uh, softball required I couldn't do the coursework that was required and so I felt kinda of bad that I couldn't do that and so it was like, oh, okay, well, I can do that. You know, it was like along those lines. The It's Our Story Project is a national effort to make disability history public and accessible. Visit us at www.itsourstory.org or on the It's Our Story Project YouTube channel.